Would you like to get some help with those money problems? Well, watch this video and learn what steps to take next. People don't talk about money. They, they really don't. They talk about, the only thing they talk about is they wish that they had more of it or they complain that they don't have enough, but they don't really talk about how they earn their money and the thought process, the emotional management and their behavior. They don't talk about it. I mean, how many times do you go over to Sunday family dinner and everybody's sharing how they're earning their money? <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Eight out of 10 people struggle with money in the United States. That's just the United States. Eight out, now, realistically, it's probably nine, but you're probably not gonna believe that. But like, let's just say between eight and nine, but, but literally 80, 90% of people are struggling with money. And I'll tell you why, is because we don't talk about it and we don't discuss the ways in which a, way, a person can earn money. The only way that we talk about it is go get a job. Hey, go get a job. Oh, you want more money? Go get a job. And we act like that's the only answer, the perfect answer, and that everybody else is supposed to know what that means to go get a job. What if it's not a job issue? What if it has to do with the way that you think about money? What if it has to do with the way you feel about money? What if it has to do with literally your behavior towards money? I think those are really the root problems. It's not the job situation, but this is not a conversation that people have. They, they still struggle with it. So what do people do with money? Well, what you do is you usually do what your parents did, or if you're not doing what your parents did, you're doing what you think you should do or act or feel about money, which is probably a very elementary level education when it comes to money. So you got money problems? It makes sense. You're not alone either. There's 10 people standing in a room you're one of the nine people out of the 10 that's struggling. <laughs> There's a whole tribe of people struggling with this. So let's talk about what you can do to switch this and change this so your money challenges can literally start to change today. Not, not tomorrow, next week, let's do something right now. Now, notice right here, I, I brought up really where the problems are is in thinking, how you feel about money, and literally how you behave about money. Now, here's what I notice is a person who does not think positively about money doesn't have money. So if you, if you don't have positive thinking in your head, like, you know, I'm going to find a way to earn money and provide a service and, and do something good for people so I can get paid. If you're not thinking that way and you're thinking, Oh, I just hate money. Money's my problem. You're going to have a lot of challenges. Most people are very emotionally, um, uh, piled up in a bunch of garbage emotions towards money because of past experiences, because of current situations that they don't have enough. But this is where you start. It's got to start where money is on your mind in a positive way that you're going to learn literally how to do better with money. Now let's, let's look at that. I, I don't want to just pretend like you know what that looks like, but seriously, one of the first things you want to do is get into studying money. Oh look, the wind is coming up. <laughs> Maybe I'm not done with this page, right? Watch this, I'm gonna make it stick. <laughs> Let's see if that holds it. Okay, so what happens here is if you, if you wanna be good at something, you study it. You know, if somebody wants to be a dentist, you go to dentistry school, is that how you say that? If you want to be a doctor, you go study how to be a doctor. You want to be an architect, you go to architect school. If you want to be a landscaper, if you want to be an interior designer, you take classes on that particular topic. And so you get thinking about it. Your emotions are good about it. Your behavior about it is because you're studying, you're acting it out, you're practicing it. So if you want to be good at money, you got to study it. <laughs> Doesn't that just make sense? And I, this is, I ask people, you know, who are struggling with money. I go, so what book are you currently reading about money? Oh, I don't have books I read about money. Okay, what class are you taking about money? I don't have a class about money. Who are you learning from about money? Well, I don't have a person. So 
it's really fascinating, but I, I was in the same place too. I wasn't studying about it. I wasn't reading. I wasn't listening to people. I wasn't going to classes about it. And now I was in that place of struggling about money. So I get it, but let's stop the madness. And really you got to dive into this. So what does this look like? Get a book, get somebody to follow. Well, I think that's one of my next ones. Get a coach. What, and who's the coach? What kind of person do you choose to, to coach on money? Somebody who has money. <laughs> I know it's, I'm, I'm giggling about this, but I, I've met people who are struggling with money and I say, are you, are you working with somebody on this? And they go, yeah. I said, do they have money? No, they're kind of wrestling with it too. Well, who are these people? Oh, it's my parents. So you're asking your parents to teach you about money, but they don't have money. Well, wait a second. You find somebody who has money. You find somebody who's successful and you either pay them to coach you or you, you know, find a way to trade services for them to teach you. But you got to find, you got to study this. Literally go get a book about money. You go get on Amazon, go get something, get on somewhere and get a book, go downtown to a store that sells books, get books on money and start reading about money. It's got to be a topic not an issue. Turn money into a topic. Turn it into a career. Turn it into a job. Turn it into a talent. Turn it into a skill. Just like learning how to, you know, be a dentist, learn how to manage money and have money. If you turn it into a topic, a job, a skill, an ability, you're going to get good at it. It, it, that's the reason why people struggle with, it's the reason why you are struggling with money is because your education of money is low. So this is all head. This is all your head is the, you know, the education side. But also know when it comes to this about money, you also got feelings about money, right? And I'll, I'll share with you the best way you can work through emotions about money is to start, start journaling about how you feel about money. You got to get all those emotions out. Easy, easy way to, to manage emotions about money is to journal about money. Okay. So you're going to get a book or go to a class or, but Kirk, I don't have money to go to that. Set. Okay. Just get books, get a book, get it on audio, get it so you can read it, but get reading books. If, you, if you're not reading a book at least once a month about money, you are not improving your money experience. You are going to continue to struggle if you don't raise your education. What book should you read? Any book about money. Get money on your brain. It doesn't turn you into a bad person. It turns you into a smart person. I don't know where it started, but for some reason, people in this world think, and, and, and they think, well, if I think about money, I'm a bad person. No, if you think about money, you can pay your bills. <laughs> you can pay your bills. You're not going to be in debt and you can help other people. You can help build stuff when you have money. Okay, but get money on the brain and that you can do today, right now. Get yourself a book, get reading, so you have it on your mind and you can start to learn how money works. And go find somebody. You don't have to always pay somebody to do that. Okay, the other thing you gotta learn about money is how you're spending it and how you're earning it. Are you tracking your money? Are you tracking it? Or do you avoid looking at the bank account? If you're not tracking whatever you're doing, if you're not tracking, you have no clue how to improve it. No clue. People who don't uh, track their money, they just impulse buy all the time. Impulse buy, impulse buy. But tracking your money gives you the power to delay that impulse moment. It even gives you the power to say no, because you know where your balance is. You know what's coming in. You know what goes out. You know what your spending habits are. And it gives you the power to delay and it gives you the power to say no. But if you're not tracking, you don't know anything. And so you're always going to say yes. And I guess so. And I, maybe we can make this up later and you're going to struggle with money because you're not tracking it and you don't have the power to delay and you don't have the power to say no, you got to track it. So get a book, find somebody to follow. I bet you could find somebody who's a money guru. I'm not going to be your money guru right now. What I'm doing is I'm helping you just like realize you got to do something about this right now. So uh, book, 
somebody to follow who's talking about money all the time and who's really good at this and that they literally have all the steps and everything. And I've got steps about how I changed my money stuff. And you can find my other YouTube videos about this, but there's lots of people you can learn from on this and then get the power inside you to delay the purchase or say no to the purchase. But you won't have that power until you get into tracking your money. And if you're like, oh, but it's such a mess, it's so hard. Okay, don't do it and you'll stay in your problems. <laughs> okay, next one is another reason why people have money problems is because they can't enjoy what they have right now. Whatever you have, whatever house, whatever car, whatever clothes, whatever you got going on in your life right now, if you can't enjoy what you have right now, you're always thinking about what you're gonna buy next. You're getting pleasure out of purchasing things. You're not getting pleasure from experiencing things. And that's something you gotta switch. You gotta switch that of like going, wait a second, I gotta slow down and enjoy exactly what I have. Be happy with what you got. So you're not always into getting a zing out of purchasing something. Because you, the over purchaser kind of person, you get this big zing out of buying something. And, and it's not about the pleasure of having the thing or enjoying the experience. You just like, oh, I want to go buy something. I just want to open the next package. I just want to get the next new thing. And I watch people get themselves into money problems every week because they just want the zing from the purchase instead of enjoying what they currently have. It's like, I have a cell phone, right? And I can't tell you how many people are like, oh, you don't have the new cell phone. It's like, my phone works. I, I push the button, it works. And my apps work. My screen size is totally fine. And I hear people who will say to me, they'll go, oh, but you got to get the next phone. I'm like, I don't need to spend $1,000. I don't have to spend $500. And they've gone through three or four new phones and I still have my same phone and it still works. And they've spent hundreds, even up to the thousands of dollars on a new phone. And it's like, you could have used that money for something else. And they still have the same buttons to push. Maybe their screen is a little bit bigger, but I don't need, it's like, come on, come on, be careful people. Some people get really hooked in on the zing of the purchase, the new thing, because it's fun and exciting. And that is a trick that will cause you to be in money problems for the rest of your life is you can't have joy. If you can't have joy in experiencing the here and now, you're going to stay in debt because buying is a false sense of joy. The new thing is a false sense of joy. It's a false sense of joy. And if you're constantly thinking the next new thing, the next new thing is gonna bring joy to you, you are going to be broke because you cannot buy happiness. Happiness is enjoying the moment with whatever you got. And, you, and be able to enjoy it. Be able to enjoy it. The last one here, be able to help you with getting out of your money problems here is literally you need to learn a new skill. How are you to expect to be able to earn more money or have an advancement in the company you work for or get hired into that next job or maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you want to like start your own business. You got to get into the whole new part of like you got to add some skills to you. Presentation skills is a must for life today. Presentation skills, getting up in front of people, talking to people, but presentation skills, coaching or mentoring skills, um, any type of uh, specific industry skill, but go get a new skill. And I've been seeing billboards lately on, on the freeway that show that, hey, you wanna earn more money? Get a new skill. Makes sense, doesn't it? If the skill you had been using is not in demand anymore, you need to go learn some new skills. And hey, here's something to think about for the future. Our skill level has to change. We've got to adapt to what's going on in the world today. And so go learn some new skills and stop having a pity party that you don't have enough money. Money does not come to people who have pity parties. Get a book, get it in your head, journal about how you feel about emotions so you can unload those emotions about money, get somebody to follow, seriously, Get the power of so you don't so you can delay and say no because you're tracking your money. Enjoy what you have. Get yourself a new skill so that your money problems can stop today. But of all of these, of all of these that you can do right now in the next 24 hours, 
get a book and get your head thinking that there is a chance to change your money problems. If you can't think it and it's not in your head, it's not going to change. That's the big one right there. Study about money. Hey, money problems are only a step away from being solved. Remember to take some action on what you learned here. Hey, another action to take, click subscribe, stay connected to us because this is some valuable content.